a pleasant welcome to all my students in last two classes we have discussed about introduction to sociology in the continuation of that we'll be learning today in part 3 prominent indian sociologist now let's see what we have learned in the previous two classes in previous two classes we have learned about human beings or social beings meaning definitions origin scope nature and importance of sociology interrelationship between sociology and other social sciences and in today's class we'll learn about prominent indian sociologist they are dr b r ambedkar g s gurie m n srinivas c parvatamma iravati karve and a r desai children let's learn about b r ambedkar dr b r ambedkar was a chief architect of our constitution he was the chairman of drafting committee of our indian constitution we all knew him right ambedkar's contribution to the building of modern india is very important and his full name was bimra ramji ambedkar he is one of the important social reformer and an expert in law and he was fighting against the exploitations of dalits as well as for women rights he was fighting and especially against untouchability in india he was fighting ambedkar was the first to prove that all sorts of exploitation of dalits can be overcome by education so he proved that by means of education we can avoid or overcome all sorts of exploitations ambedkar's stand on education differs from others other social thinkers radically that we can see now how he was different from others he proposed that education as a main tool of social transformation so as to bring the equality and justice to the people and he proposed he was proposing that education as a main tool and according to him education is a only means through which one can earn resources to understand and analyze critically so as to understand the situation so as to analyze critically he was thinking that education is a only means and he argued that to overcome india's prejudices and prejudice induced social discrimination one needs logical argument so as to overcome all the prejudices and the prejudice which was induced by social discrimination one needs a logical argument a person has to think rationally so as to argue logically and this logical argument capacity is earned through education he argued that the capability to argue logically can be earned only through education and he was arguing in favor of compulsory and free education to all and we know very well he is a chairman of drafting committee of indian constitution and in our indian constitution the education is made compulsory and free to all and it is included as one of the duty of the citizen that is in the fundamental duty the 11th one we have compulsory and free education to all from 6 to 14 years the parents or the guardians are responsible for that and he argued that the education should remain as a public property as it has the capacity to bring in social changes he has mentioned the education should be for everyone that is it is a public property it is not only meant for a particular group of people because when ambedkar was 
studying or is in his young age or is before the era if you have seen the education was meant for a particular group of people so he argued that the education should remain as a public property as it has a capacity to bring the social changes like equality and justice with these radical thoughts dr ambedkar played a pivotal role in the preparation of draft of indian constitution because of this proactive role played by ambedkar the indian constitution has a unique way of assuring social justice and equality in the entire world now let's see about his life and education b r ambedkar was born in ambawadi village of maharashtra on april 14th 1891 he lost his mother at the age of 6 and he was under the care of his aunt meera bai and he started his primary education at satara ambedkar passed matriculation in first class in the year 1907 which is equivalent to sslc now and he married rama bai with the help of scholarship which was given by maharaja of baroda which was about rupees 25 he earned he has he he has done his degree that is ba and ma he has done and he received his phd from columbia university in 1916 dr b r ambedkar has started a fortnightly magazine named mukanayaka the word mukanayaka means the leader of voiceless so as to spread awareness about the prevailing social evils and the most prominent the social evil which was most prominent among was among the people or among the society was untouchability and his major works are annihilation of caste which was published in 1936 who are shudras published in 1946 buddha and his dhamma in 1957 after embracing buddhism dr b r ambedkar has written his experiences in the book called buddha and his dhamma which was published in 1957 and all of his writings the government of karnataka has published in the language of kannada in 26 volumes and dr b r ambedkar the great social reformer died on december 6th 1956 now let's discuss about g s gurie whose full name is govin sadashiv gurie who was an indian professor of sociology In 1924 he became the second person to head the department of sociology at the university of bombay at present it is called as university of mumbai was born on 12th december 1893 at malwan of maharashtra he died at 1983 in mumbai he has completed his education in university of cambridge elphinstone college of london After receiving his PhD from Cambridge University London Gurie returned to India and started his teaching career at the Department of Sociology at Bombay University and his major works if you see Caste and Race in India in 1932 he has published it and the next work is about Scheduled Tribes next book is Scheduled Tribes in 1943 indian saints in 1953 and many other books were written by g s gurie and not only that many of his students also became very popular because of their social reformist work and few will be discussing even in this lesson let's discuss about m n srinivas whose full name is Mysore Narasimha Chaur Srinivas who was an Indian sociologist and social anthropologist he is mostly known for his work on caste and caste systems 
social stratification, Sanskritization and Westernization in Southern India and the concept of dominant caste. And he was concentrating about the dominant caste. Mainly he was concentrating about the concept of dominant caste. Srinivas earned his doctorate in sociology from the University of Bombay, later renamed as University of Mumbai, as I have told you, and went on to the University of Oxford for further studies. Although he had already written a book on family and marriage in Mysore and completed his PhD at University of Bombay before he went to the University of Oxford. In the late 1940s, for further education, he went to University of Oxford. His training there played a significant role in the development of his ideas. Srinu was taught in various institutions like University of Delhi, Maharaja Sayaji Rao, University of Baroda, Institute for Social and Economic Change of Bangalore, and National Institute of Advanced Studies in Bangalore. He worked in all these institutions. He popularized, M. N. Srinivas had popularized the field-based sociological studies in India. While he was studying at Stanford University, his field study notes were lost in and due to the agitation of the students. Due to the building fire, as caused by the agitation of the students, all his work was burnt in the fire. But based on his memory, whatever uh, he had in the memory, the field work, whichever he has done, he wrote a remembered village in 1976. He has written a book, A Remembered Village in 1976, which has received universal acclaim and has been republished many times. Under the guidance of his teacher, Ratcliffe Brown, he wrote a book called The Religion and Society of Kodawas of South India in 1952. And his major works are The Religion and Society of Kodawas of South India, 1952, Indian Villages, Social Change in Modern India, 1956, and the next book, A Remembered Village in 1976. So this is about M. N. Srinivas, who has contributed a lot in the field of sociology. Now let's see about, let's learn about C. Parvatamma. C. Parvatamma is a prominent contemporary sociologist from Karnataka and she grew up in a difficult situation with a lot of determination became one of the leading sociologists of India. Though she was in a different and difficult situation with lot of determination she has decided what to be done and she became one of the leading sociologists of India and she was born at Siagalli village of present Davanagere district, then Taluk of Chitradurga district in June 1928. She has completed her education in a single teacher school at her village. So if you see even nowadays also you can see that in a single teacher school. So where the teacher used to teach all the classes maybe from first to fifth or is even for, even to the higher classes because the students number of students will be less and the and teacher only one teacher will be there to teach all the students in that sort of school Parvatamma has completed her education. She continued her middle school education at Davanagare. A teacher named Kantaraja Shetty arranged for her intermediate education at Mysore by getting accommodation facility in a hostel. And she finished her intermediate education at Maharani College, Mysore. And she was a bright student. A teacher named Kantaraja Shetty has arranged for her intermediate education at Mysuru. And she finished her college uh, in Maharani College. She finished her education in Maharani College, Mysuru. And she completed her intermediate education in art stream with second class. Later, she has joined in BA Honours in Social Philosophy at Maharaja College, Mysuru. And she earned first rank in BA Honours. 
she sustained her entire education on scholarship so she and with the scholarship only she has completed her education entire education she has completed with the help of scholarship a professor guided her to continue education in a foreign university see parvatamma returned to karnataka after completing higher education in foreign university she made genuine attempts to spread the learning of sociology across karnataka and she proved her commitment and sense of social concerns her her major contributions are politics and religion sociological essays on veera shaivism and her studies on socio economic status of scheduled caste and tribes so these are the major contributions of c parvatamma so that is first one is politics and religion and second sociological essays on veera shaivism and socio economic status of scheduled caste and tribes now next we'll discuss about iravati karve she is recognized as a prominent sociologist of india one of the important sociologist of india and she was a student of g s gurie i have told you right when we were discussing about g s gurie many of uh, gurie's students were social reformers or sociologist and iravati karve was a daughter in law of famous social reformist maharishi karve and had concern in social and national issues she had her ma from bombay university and worked at pune college as professor and her main contributions are kinship and organization in india and the next one is indian society institutions and relationship so these two are the major works of iravati karve now let's learn about a r desai or akshay ramlal desai a r desai is one of the important person among the prominent sociologist of india and he was also one of the student of g s gurie and he worked as a ugc national fellow and as head of department of sociology of bombay university children do you know what is ugc ugc is nothing but university grants commission and which is a legal body set up by the government of india and it is maintaining the standards of higher education and it provides recognition to universities in india and without its recognition no university in india can grant degrees now did you understand what the work the ugc does a r desai was working as a ugc national fellow and as well as he was a head of the department of sociology of bombay university and his full name is akshay ramlal desai was born in 1950 and as i told you he was a student of g s gurie and later he taught there and became the head of the same department after gurie he became the head of the same department a r desai was a follower of karl marx who was a early sociologist or the western sociologist and he was a karl marx was a great social thinker and he was a political revu- revolutionary and his writings were very sensitive his thoughts were about the working class and laborers who led to a, and this karl marx writings led to a new direction in the labor struggle and his famous work karl marx famous work was das kapital and a r desai was a follower of karl marx as he was a following as he was following the marxist ideology in his sociological studies he was identified as marxist 
sociologist. His work is the sociological background of Indian nationalism is the best work. Indian rural sociology, slums and urbanization are his major works. And he worked actively in Indian sociological society. Children, in today's class, we have learnt about Indian sociologist B. R. Ambedkar, G. S. Gurye, M. N. Srinivas, C. Parvatamma, Iravati Karve, A. R. Desai. Now let's move on to the home assignment and classwork assignment. Classwork or workbook assignment. In home assignment, I have given you a four fill in the blanks and the remaining are one or two sentences question answers. Read all these questions and go through your textbook before writing as well as uh, see in the video class and you'll be able to find out the answers for this. Don't try to search the answers in Google. Because you are writing, uh, many of you were writing the answers which are not related to the lesson. As you people are searching in the internet, you are not getting a proper answer which is related to your lesson. You are writing something else. So better children, read the textbook as well as watch the video class properly and write your home assignment. And in the home assignment, first question is annihilation of caste was written by who has written this? You have to write. And Dash was the first to prove that all sorts of exploitation of Dalits can overcome by education. Third one, politics and religion was written by Dash. Fourth one, was the daughter in law of Maharishi Karve? Fifth question is. List out the students of Gurye who were sociologists. So in the textbook, we have discussed about the students of Gurye who were the prominent sociologists. Their names you are supposed to write for this answer. And next one, who was Marxist sociologist? We have discussed as the follower of Karl Marx and who has adopted the ideology of Karl Marx in his sociologic, sociological studies. Who is that person? You have to write here. Understood? And next, seventh one. What is Mokanayaka? Eighth one. Mention the major works of M. N. Srinivas. Ninth one. When did G. S. Gurye born? So these nine question and Fill in the blanks as well as question and the answers are there. Write the question with answer. And next come to uh, workbook assignment. In workbook assignment, in page number 93, first main fill in the blanks, question number 5 you have to write. In page number 94, second main, answer the following question number 4 you have to write. In page number 95 and 96, Answer the following in four or five sentences. Question number five, six and seven. Children, while writing these question and answers, if you are not able to find the place, I told you clearly last time itself, there is a blank space behind after the, the, in, the, in the end of the lesson. In the workbook itself, you can see in the end of the lesson, you can see the blank space right there. Third main, fifth question. The continuation, you can write it down there. In page number 97, first main, choose the best alternative, question number third and fourth. In page number 97, second main, fill in the blanks, question number four and five. Write all these workbook question and answers neatly by referring your answer key children. So children, with these question answers in workbook, this chapter is over. 
the blank question answers, a few question answers we have not attempted because those question answers are related to early sociologist or western sociologist. All these question answers whichever you have written as well as go through the textbook and video class and by Friday you have class test in this chapter. So all the three video classes go through once again and I'll be conducting you the revision class on Thursday. It is on coming Thursday I'll be conducting you the revision class of this chapter and on Friday you'll be having class test. Go through textbook as well as the video class properly children and maintain your homework index as well as your workbook index. Thank you children.